Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to Thursday Morning Prayer with St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. We thank you for joining us this morning. Our service is guided by the Mission St. Clair app, which you can get on your phone or tablet or desktop, or you can follow along with us in the Book of Common Prayer, and an order of service was sent out earlier this morning. As always, we ask you to leave us with some kind of a comment or reaction so that we know that you are here praying with us so that we can pray for and with you. Let us pray. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let us humbly confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways To the glory of your name, amen. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life, amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord has shown forth his glory. Come, let us adore him. Please join me now as we say together the Venite, the Come, let us sing to the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord has shown forth his glory. Come, let us adore him. Our psalm this morning is Psalm number 146. And as always, we will take a slight break at the asterisk in the middle of each verse. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in rulers nor in any child of earth. For there is no help in them. When they breathe their last, they return to earth. And in that day, their thoughts perish. Happy are they who have the God of Jacob for their help, 
whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the seas, and all that is in them, who keeps his promises forever, who gives justice to those who are oppressed and food to those who hunger. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord cares for the stranger. He sustains the orphan and widow, but frustrates the way of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Old Testament reading this morning comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 27. As soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, when Jacob had scarcely gone out from the presence of his father Isaac, his brother Esau came in from his hunting. He also prepared savory food and brought it to his father. And he said to his father, Let my father sit up and eat of his son's game, so that you may bless him. His father Isaac said to him, Who are you? He answered, I am your firstborn son, Esau. Then Isaac trembled violently and said, Who was it then that hunted game and brought it to me? And I ate it all before you came. And I have blessed him? Yes, and blessed he shall be. When Esau heard his father's words, he cried out with an exceedingly great and bitter cry and said to his father, Bless me, me also, father. But he said, Your brother came deceitfully, and he has taken away your blessing. Esau said, Is he not rightly named Jacob? For he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and look, now he has taken away my blessing. Then he said, Have you not reserved a blessing for me? Isaac answered Esau, I have already made him your Lord, and I have given him all his brothers as servants, and with grain and wine I have sustained him. What then can I do for you, my son? Esau said to his father, Have you only one blessing, father? Bless me also, father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Then his father Isaac answered him, See, away from the fatness of the earth shall be your home, and away from the dew of heaven on on high. By your sword you shall live, and you shall serve your brother. And when you break loose, you shall break his yoke from your neck. Now Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing with which his father had blessed him. And Esau said to himself, The days of mourning for my father are approaching, but then I will kill my brother Jacob. But the words of her elder son Esau were told to Rebekah. So she sent and called her younger son Jacob and said to him, your brother Esau is consoling himself by planning to kill you. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice. Flee at once to my brother Laban in Haran, and stay with him a while, until your brother's fury turns away, until your brother's anger against you turns away, and he forgets what you have done to him. Then I will send and bring you back from there. Why should I lose both of you? In one day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me now as we say together Canticle number eight, the Song of Moses, Canticle eight. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my Savior. This is my God, and I will praise him, the God of my people, and I will exalt him.
The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading this morning comes from the letter to the Romans, chapter 12. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me now in saying Canticle number 19. We will say this together. The Song of the Redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth. O king of all the ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our gospel reading this morning comes from the book of John, chapter 8. Again, Jesus said to them, I am going away and you will search for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. Then the Jews said, is he going to kill himself? Is that what he means by saying where I am going, you cannot come? He said to them, you are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins. For you will die in your sins unless you believe, I am he. They said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, 
Why do I speak to you at all? I have much to say about you and much to condemn, but the one who sent me is true, and I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand that he was speaking to them about the Father. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own, but I speak these things as the Father instructed me. And the one who sent me is with me. He has not left me all alone, for I always do what is pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. Then Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now reaffirm our faiths in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us now say together the prayer that our Lord and Savior taught us to pray, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Please join me as we say together the prayer suffrages. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Set us free, O God, from the bondage of our sins, and give us the liberty of that abundant life which you have made known to us in your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. This morning in the world cycle of prayer, we pray for the people of Turkey. In the ecumenical cycle of prayer, we pray for our sisters and brothers, members of the Ethiopian Evangelical Church, McCain Jesus. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night 
and turns the shadow of death into the morning. Drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness while it was day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others. I especially lift up this day St. Mary's Episcopal Church and her people, beseeching you, precious God, to continue to guide, guard, and protect us, and give us your grace and blessing as we do your ministry in this place. I lift up to you in thanksgiving all of those who celebrate birthdays and anniversaries this week. And I lift up to your care, concern, and healing all of those on our parish prayer list, those with urgent and ongoing need, most especially those preparing for or recovering from procedures, Sandra Sartain, Melinda Bessinger, Yvonne Agner, Baby Lathan, Peggy Fetch, Sandy Sayre, Mimi Clark, Joel Graves, Eric, Sherry, Lee Conley, Chick Meach, Sue Serba. We ask your prayers for those with urgent need this day. Dara Morgan, Cecil and Edie McGavern, Wayne Highsmith, Adam Hicks, Kevin Zeman, Chip Sisso, Jordan Edwards, Ann Becker, John Sutherland, Paula Bartle, Jack Morgan, Ashley Brash, Larry Teston, Tammy Bentley, Louise Lashley, Betty Carey, Jesse McGeehee, Darlene Lambert, Joyce Delosier, Kelly Oakley, Ray, Jeannie White, Julie and Leslie, the Reverend Richard Brent, Al Heiler, Wes Curry, and David Teets. We pray for those with ongoing need this day. John Harrison, Ben Krillman, Jen, David, and family, B.J. Croft, Gloria Gullen, Laura Melton, Perry Kane, Mark, Keith, Cecil Hicks, Sue Ann, Barbara Jones, Aiden, Elaine Morgan, Noah, Trinity, Denise, Kathy Kinsman. We pray this day for Jerry and Diane Rice, Dave and Marge Moffat, Terry and Denise McKenzie, Leon and Betty Milton, Jim and Janice Tab. Are there others to be named? I also pray this day for Sharon, for Casey and Crawford. <laughs> Bless me. For Jessica and Kate. I pray for Sue, for David, for Kelly, for Becky and Mike, for John and David, for Alexa and Lauren, for Enid and Jan. I pray this day for Bob and Dee and Adam, for Haley, Morgan and Emma, for Bo and Patty, for Kevin and Cindy, for Kyle, Jordan, Jamie and Ryan. Are there those that you wish to pray for in family and friends? Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, guide the nations of the world into the way of justice and truth, and establish among them that peace which is the fruit of righteousness, that they may become the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Amen. And Almighty God, we commend to your gracious care and keeping all the men, men and women of our armed forces, National Guard, and first responders at home and abroad. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations. Give them courage to face the perils which beset them. And grant them a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, in giving us dominion over things on earth, you made us fellow workers in your creation. 
Give us wisdom and reverence so to use the resources of nature that no one may suffer from our abuse of them and that generations yet to come may continue to praise you for your bounty through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us this morning in these most turbulent times say together with special intention the prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and forevermore. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I thank you for joining us this Thursday morning for morning prayer at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. As always, we invite you to our services of worship and praise on Sunday at 745 and 10 o'clock. And if you still don't feel safe in coming uh, to church in groups, our 10 o'clock service will be streamed live right here on our Facebook page. We also invite you to join us tonight at 7 o'clock for our prayerful service of Compline as we find a quiet and prayerful way to end the day and to thank God for all of the blessings that we have received throughout the day. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I beseech you to continue to take care of yourselves in whatever way that is best for you. Take care of yourself and show yourself self-care physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Reach out to those you love and help care for them. Call someone you haven't talked to in a while. You might be the only voice they hear this day. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I wish you God's peace. I wish you a good day, and may God bless you. <music>